Welcome back to another daily walk. Well, today I want to spend a little bit of time talking about ministry. Uh, this is something I was listening to a sermon not long ago when he was talking about uh, a little bit about ministry type stuff. And uh, really what I want to stop and talk about here today is talking about our own need of having a ministry. And what does that look like? What does that look like in our life? What does that look like practically? Um, and and this is an, an, an interesting question because oftentimes, unfortunately, ministry starts being redefined as being something you're doing necessarily in the church. And it's like if you're not in the church, if you're not doing something that was listed on the program bulletin, you're not doing ministry. And that's a wrong view. Now, that's not an exclusively wrong view. You know, there is a lot of good and a lot of ministry that can be done at your local church. And if you're unclear as to where to start, that might be a good place to start, particularly since you might have the ability to get some training under people who know already about ministry and about how to conduct yourself. So start there with ministry. Now, before we actually dive into this, let's remember uh, what is our, our key concept, our key verse, Ephesians 2.10, where God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which he prepared in advance for us to do. All right. And so we kind of want to start there. We were saved not so that, uh, you know, if our entire purpose was, was just to get saved, then God, you know, we'd get saved and God would just rapture us out of the world individually. But that's not what he has. In fact, in Romans 10, he talks about how people hear the gospel and it is the it is the response to hearing the gospel is the means by which someone gets saved how are they to hear without a preacher how can they preach unless they are sent this is a statement indicating that we are called as christians to preach the gospel and that's our primary ministry is to preach the gospel okay but we have a secondary ministries to help and serve mankind Okay, whatever that's going to look like for you. So of course, starting, if you are unclear where to start in any ministry, start with a church bulletin. If you're attending a church, great, open that guy up, see what kind of needs they have. If there's no needs listed, go talk to your pastor or whatever else. Figure out where there's a need. There's gonna be Sunday schools, there's going to be after school programs for kids, there's going to be you know, Bible studies, there's gonna be small groups, a variety of different things. There very well may be a prayer ministry or a meals ministry to help people in the church. Finding where you have gifts and goals, the spiritual gifts were given to us to engage in our individual ministries. But don't think just only in the church. I mean, there's a lot of great things that can be found from there. Beyond the church, there's parachurch ministries. Child Evangelism Fellowship is one that I've uh, served on board of before in the past. Um, so you get things like that. You have you know, Christian camps, um, uh, the compassion ministries like Compassion and you know, a few of these other ones, uh, Shepherd's Purse, things like that. Looking at all of these different options, these are other places where you can figure out where you can serve in ministries. And then move beyond the church ones. There's Habitat for Humanity, which I believe is mostly secular. Um, I don't know much about that one, but I did a lot in Big Brothers Big Sisters, which uh, is a great ministry. I mean, James chapter 1, verse 27, pure and undefiled religion in their sight of God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself unstained by the world. All right? What better way, what better ministry is there than, than to mentor a child, helping, oftentimes these children are from, from single parent households, oftentimes single mother households, and serving in that capacity is ministry. So don't think that if you're not doing something in the church, you're just not doing any ministry. No, ministry is all around us. What is the core facets of it? Well, number one is you are getting out of yourself and you're serving mankind whether you're delivering meals, whether you're mentoring somebody, whether you're teaching somebody how to handle finances, handle life, handling all sorts of things like that. All of these are tactics that is part of ministry. Remember that verse from Matthew, I forget where the reference is, but he's talking about separating the sheep from the goats, all right? Separating out the sheep from the goats, and as he separates them out, you know, he's he's talks about, you know, all of you who, when you, you saw me naked, you clothed me, you saw me hungry, you fed me, you saw me thirsty, you gave me a drink, you in prison and you, and you visited me. 
right? That's the verse. And he says, when do we see this? Well, as often as you did it to the least of these, you did it to me. Okay, ministry is to serve people, no matter what the, ca the, the category. It is to serve people and it is to serve people to the honor and the glory of God. That doesn't mean you're cramming the gospel down the throat every, every waking moment, okay? I knew uh, one guy that, uh, he was a pastor and you know, we lived, uh, we lived, the, the church was right on railroad tracks. A lot of people, it was in a, a poor high uh, elevation desert and a lot of people rode the rails through there and people would jump off the rails there. There's a church there, they'd go in and they'd look for food or something and this pastor would make them recite the Lord's Prayer before he'd give them anything. Like, this is, that is not ministry. That is not, that is like, that is like coercive cultism. Ooh, would you like some food? You gotta pray this prayer for Jesus. And he's like, woohoo. We used to joke in town that that guy believed that he, he himself wrote the Lamb's Book of Life and it was on his bookshelf and he was the sole editing power of it. Um, but ministry is, it is serving people. It is serving a people in whatever capacity you can possibly serve people. And that is kind of the important part about what ministry really is, serving people. And that's what we need to do. We all are called to have a ministry and it doesn't necessarily have to be in a formal church position. Uh, it can be. So why is it so important? Well, if you follow the AA steps, look at the last step in the AA program. The last step is to help someone else out. That is effectively what we're doing in ministry. We're helping somebody else along. We're teaching. We are mature in Christ and we are passing on what we have learned to others. This, what I do here, this is for me a form of ministry. And I've received a lot of comments back and questions back as a result of the fruit of doing this channel uh, wherever you're watching this video or listening to this podcast. This is a ministry to teach people to get back in the Word of God, to learn to live out their life in Jesus Christ. Not just, hey, I've checked off my Lord's Prayer, but are you actually impacting the world for Jesus Christ? That is the important part of what we do in ministry. So thanks for coming along on this daily walk. You can find out more about how you can help here by looking at the links in the description down below. You can have a look at the website for, um, uh, for the books that we have available and for the support links or any other resources and things you might need. So check out ourwalkinchrist.com. So thanks for coming along and I hope that you enjoy your daily walk in our Lord.